Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a brilliant chess miniature played by the 8th world chess champion Mikhail Tal. His opponent is Dutch chess grandmaster Jan Timon and the game was played in 1988 in Reykjavik at Reykjavik World Cup. In this 1988 FIDE rating list you can see that Jan Timon was the third rated player behind Kasparov and Karpov while Mikhail Tal was the 8th highest rated player. We all know that already at that time Tal had serious health issues. His best days were far behind but still he was demonstrating excellent chess and he was in the top 10 rating list. This is just amazing guys and all these speak about Tal's unprecedented talent. So in this game Tal had white pieces and he opened up with knight f3 to which Timon answered with knight f6, c4, c5. Uh, we see the symmetrical English although soon the game would transpose to the semi tarash defense. After d4, d5 we see the good old semi tarash defense. c takes d5, e takes d5, bishop e2 c takes d4 and e takes d4. At this point uh, knight takes d4 is more popular after which white is leaving black with an isolated pawn but uh, in the game we see e takes d4. Knight d4 by Timon, Tal castle kingside, bishop b4. On the surface it may seem that this is a decent move but soon Tal will refute this and in a few more moves he will simply destroy his opponent. Here Tal went for knight takes e4 and after d takes e4 played d5. This is just a brilliant combination and only Tal's Hawkeye could spot it. Uh, Timon accepted the peace sacrifice and with uh, bishop takes f3. Tal is of course not interested in hurrying with d takes c6 that won't give white anything. Moreover, in that case, it will be black who will prevail. And he's simply recapturing on f3 and is leaving black in a very hard situation. This bishop on b4 is misplaced. Also, right now, the knight is under attack. And the fact that this king is still stuck in the center of the board is, of course, very problematic for black. Uh, knight e5 by Timon, and we have queen a4 check, which allows Tal to win back the sacrificed pawn. Uh, knight takes f3. This move allows black to damage white's kingside pawn structure and win back the pawn, thus materially equalizing. But in this position, who counts material? Black king is in center. You are playing against Mikhail Tal and this is going to end up catastrophically. Moreover, at any moment, white can cover his king with bishop f4 and then bishop g3. Uh, here comes bishop f4. Tal is developing the last piece, is connecting his rooks and is getting ready to harass black king. Bishop e6, rook e1. If only black could castle then uh, probably could draw this game with opposite color bishops and not a promising position at all. But uh, we have a monster on b4 which is not even allowing black to breathe a5, queen a3 still keeping an eye on f8, rook c8, rook d1, and queen c5. A, a terrible mistake because after rook c1 black is suffering heavy losses and at this point Timon resigned. If queen takes a3 then rook takes c8 check, if here then rook c7 check and then b takes a3 and it's over, white has an extra rook. What I want to do right now is to go back and uh, analyze the game with the help of Stockfish. So at this point bishop b4 was played, instead it was better either to play bishop e7 or knight takes c3. We see bishop b4 after which we have a huge jump in evaluation and knight takes e4 followed, d takes e4, d5, e takes f3, bishop takes f3. Now if knight e7 in order to cover the king then of course in this case black can castle but we can see that white is simply a pawn up has two powerful bishops and this is going to be an easy victory in the game 95 was played which enabled black to remove this light squared bishop and win back the pawn but as this king is in the center tal quickly finished up his opponent rook e1 a5 queen a3 rook c8 rook d1 
At this point, of course, with queen b5, Timon could still prolong the resistance. It's not like that in this case white can win on the spot. Still, it requires some time, but anyways, yeah, white's position is totally winning. In the game, queen c5 followed a terrible blunder, which loses on the spot after rook c1 tal forced a resignation. Once again, guys, this game comes to prove that tal was simply a machine, you know, and in just a few moves, just in the opening, he managed to prevail in a game against world number three player. Uh, this is it, dear chess lovers. Hope that you enjoyed the game. Feel free to share with your friends as well. And in the end, let's also solve a chess puzzle where the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Feel free to check out my early uploads as well. We'll see you in my next video.